If you want to be a powerful entrepreneur, you've got to be committed right now to understanding people, why they think what they think, why they do what they do, why they hold the values that they have. Become obsessed with being a student of people. Hello and welcome to Crafted Coaching. This is your real quick solo episode from yours truly to get some coaching on certain things that are going to make you a better entrepreneur. So today we're going to talk about finding your ideal customer and we're going back to the basics here. I like that, you know, kiss, keep it simple, sexy, because sometimes we overcomplicate so much in our offerings And we do that when we do not understand who our customer is. And so it's a really good refresher to constantly go back to. If you feel like you're plateauing in your business, your offerings aren't landing, it's probably because you're not speaking the language that your customer needs to hear. So we actually have this whole resource inside of our coaching platform that you could check out at any time. Just go over to kaylacraft.com, check it out. It's amazing. I think it's only like $97 a month to be a part of our basic coaching platform. And you even get a virtual coach inside of that. So let's talk about meeting your ideal customer. Okay. What is their name? What gender are they? Where do they live? How old are they? What's their level of education? What's their income? What have they accomplished in their life? These are the basic things. And I already know you're going, well, like finding all these reasons. Just put the first thing down that comes to mind when you're doing this exercise. Then we're going to go even more into depth. How does your customer spend their week? Where do they get their news? Where do they go when they're not working? Where do they hang out? How do they feel about what they're doing for a living? What are some of their concerns in life? Now we're going to get even more granular. What's their home life like? Do they have children? Does anything about their home life bear any use to you on how they might use your product or how they might fit your product into their life? Does the product you're selling, whether it's digital or physical, address any of their concerns that relate to their family? Why or why not? Now let's talk about how the person that is your ideal customer relates to your product. What is it about your product that matters to this person? So I want to give you an example. Okay. I have a delicious cold brew to my right. And I'm going to cover up because this is on YouTube (laughs) where this is from. Now I have tried every small coffee shop, local business out there, their cold brew and nothing tastes like this particular national chain. And I actually, it frustrates me because I don't like giving money to like big box corporations. I really like to go local as much as possible, but this is the one thing that it really matters to me, the taste. So think about that, right? Think about that with your product. What really matters to them? What is going to make them go against (laughs) everything that is telling them not to buy your product, right? Because they've already spent too much money that month or whatever, That's going to make them go, but I have to have that. I have to have that because I feel like it's going to change my life. And it's crazy because you wouldn't think a cold brew would change your life. But specifically on my podcasting days, I love a good cold brew because it just amplifies my brain power. It just, I have so many freaking ideas when I'm, after I drink a good cold brew. Okay. Does it, so it solves a need for me. And what is it about that product that matters to me? It tastes good. It doesn't taste bad. It doesn't taste bitter. It doesn't taste burnt. Okay. Taste matters to me. Does taste matter to your ideal client? If you have a physical product that's consumable, does it make them feel good? Does your product ease their pain in some way? Does it better their life? What thoughts should go through this person's head right before they decide to purchase your product? What do you want them thinking in their mind? And then lastly, 
What is the final straw that makes him actually pull the trigger and go, yep, I'm doing it now. I'm buying that thing now. I've just been influenced. Then let's get into the psyche of them. If you want to be a powerful entrepreneur, you've got to be committed right now to understanding people, why they think what they think, why they do what they do, why they hold the values that they have. Become obsessed with being a student of people. That is something I learned a long, long time ago is that I study people. I love, love, love studying successful people. And I also love studying my ideal client because it's really easy for me to make content for them from that place. This is the whole reason why I'm making this episode because you're my ideal person that I want to serve. And this is a good refresher for you. You've heard this before, but you need to be reminded right now of like, am I truly marketing to the right person? Am I creating content? in a way that is actually going to be effective. What keeps this person awake at night? Are they staring at the ceiling stressed instead of sleeping? Why or why not? Are they angry or upset with anyone? What are their top three daily frustrations? What trends tend to occur in their life? Something that I found with like my ideal client. So somebody that's coming in is that they have gotten okay at selling on social media. They know how to make a certain amount of money, but they're in the rat race of constantly having to make more and more money, you know, more and more money. And they haven't learned how to get their money to work for them. And so it keeps them awake at night because they're like, what's going to be my next offer? What's going to be my next this? And now I'm coming in with, hey, at Crafted Entrepreneur, we're going to teach you how to multiply your money Over at Crafted Deals, we're teaching you how to use real estate to create cash flowing assets that are going to pay you while you sleep and you don't have to be on the rat race anymore, going and finding more and more and more money. So I know that the trend in their life is that they're always up leveling, right? So they're always changing their lifestyle as they up level. And so they need to continue to make more and more money. And that is something that, you know, it brings them happiness, but it also brings a certain level of pain with it too, because they have to learn how to really win the wealth game, which is what they secretly desire most. Maybe they haven't even said that out loud to anybody because they don't know that they're yet close enough to it, but that's why they need to come into my ecosystem because then they start to see it is so possible for them. Now you've got to think about who else is selling something similar to your ideal client and how. How is that person being reached? Now, when I think about my ideal client or crafted entrepreneur, I know that it's mainly the good old boys club that has been in business for 30 years and they use a lot of manipulative marketing tactics that are outdated, very masculine, very aggressive. And I know that like, if I just go to the exact opposite of that, I'm basically, you know, we believe a lot of the same concepts around real estate and how to make your money work for you, but I'm marketing to those people in a different way because I'm a feminine person, right? I'm coming from that feminine led soul giving, right? Like I'm giving to people. I'm not taking from them. I'm constantly adding value and loving on them along the way, really nurturing them in their process of learning how to multiply their money. And so that's part of my marketing strategy. I don't just do that. I don't just wear fluffy dresses because they're cute. I I mean, I do do that, but I also do this on purpose because I'm attracting those people who need a different style. They don't want to be talked at. They want to be brought into the conversation. They want to feel like they're sitting at the table with me, right? How does your product differ from everybody else out there? If you're selling a health and wellness supplement, right? There's a lot of people out there, join my free challenge. Everybody's saying that. I was doing that 12 years ago. You got to think about something new. You got to offer them something different that helps you stand out. Now, your ideal client should always have a current situation that you're working them through and always go to the month of where you're at right now. Your marketing campaign needs to think about what is that person doing this month? What are their goals this month? And how can I help them achieve it? Does your product, does your marketing campaign help them better their current situation? 
Now I'm just, I am going through all the papers that we give out inside of our membership. So let's talk about what's blocking them from achieving what they really want in their life, their desired situation. That maybe your product could help them with what lies is your ideal client currently believing? And let's go even deeper than that. Why are they believing these lies? And one of the best exercises, okay, we have on here is talking similarities. What similarities does this person have with customers who have already said yes to your product? What traits do they share? What similarities does that person have with the customers who have already said no to your product? Now, this is very interesting. When you think about this concept here, what are the reasons why people are scrolling past your offers? What are the things that they're saying in their head? Because if you know what is making them say no to your product, you can start using that in your marketing campaign to beat those objections and to catch up the other people that might be scrolling on by today. Think about what traits they share, right? And talk to them. Talk about them. Give them solutions for these things. So I get so fired up about this because If you notice, I have so many notes. I have journals about my ideal customer, about every current situation they have January through December, because they're always going through a new situation. And if you understand that, you will constantly be refreshing your marketing campaigns. And you know way ahead of time what you're going to be talking about, what you, how you're going to be serving them that month. And they're going to always feel like, gosh, Kayla's in my head. You know how many times I hear that from actual actual paying customers, even my podcast listeners say that, but actual paying customers will say, it feels like you're in my head. That's why I ended up buying it. That is not by freaking accident. It is because I take intentional time with my marketing. I know that the best coaches don't win the game. The best coaches don't win the game. The best products sometimes don't even win the game. The people with the best marketing always win the game. So commit right now to being a marketer because that's part of what crafted entrepreneurs do is they use their creativity. They're constantly getting creative, taking the times to do exercises like this, get super granular and just create from that place. Well, what could her name be? I remember years ago when I first decided I was going to create an avatar, I think seven years ago at this point, and I named her Ashley. And everything that we did in the beginning with Mommy Millionaire was based on Ashley. Now we have a different avatar. Guess what her name is? Cassidy. Cassidy's a nurse. She lives in Oklahoma City and she loves people. Cassidy and Ashley, they actually have a lot of similarities, but they have a couple differences. So You know, what's crazy is like every avatar I've ever created has been some former version of who I am, who I've been. So you'll see similarities of you in this, which makes it even more fun because, and it should also make it easier for you to do it. And just like, hmm, if I was going through that current situation, what what would be the thoughts that I'm thinking about in my head? You just get to have fun and create, create, create. So I'm going to create (laughs) another crafted coaching episode for you where we're going to actually talk about your offer. Okay. Because as an entrepreneur, any business, any business is going to struggle if you don't have a compelling, irresistible offer. And so we're going to talk about that on the next episode. I want you to stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe. If you're watching this on YouTube right now, make sure to subscribe. If you're listening into the podcast And we're going to have some fun dissecting what makes a good offer even better. Absolutely irresistible. All right. Love you guys so much. Comment below if you have any questions about this exercise. All right. Bye.